Hello, Jezda Mail here with another episode of The Cat Lady. I tried this a couple times, decided to look it up because apparently only one answer is the right answer. So I'm going to go to this doll right here because it doesn't matter. And I'm going to ask the doll, um, what doll would the other doll point me Which to? Which door would the other doll point me to? Which door would the other doll point me to? And you go in the door that that doll does not point to. I believe that's what it says. I can't remember. I don't have it up anymore. There we go. Is I hate flowers! Is supposed to be my reward? Am I gonna die? Flowers. I hate flowers. You <laughs> lied to me. <laughs> you lied. Take your flowers. Hey! I don't know. Look up lovely roses. He's a douche. Just like everything else. <laughs> they just turn into a... Do they? No! What was that? That popped up for a second. Bye, eyeball. Thanks for nothing! <clears throat> The other times I tried it, this is the room I went to. Now, I did this candle right here, and I know what it is. So I'm going to do a different candle this time. Um, I'm going to do the one on the end. Let's see who does this time. Blow out. <sighs> oh, this is the same one I got with the other candle. It must be random every time. Unless you have to get it this time. Yeah, I did that a couple times. I'm not good at those types of things. And so I looked it up to see, and there's only one way that you can a actually get the... Ah! Oh, I thought she was decaying in front of me. That scared me. Woo! Uh-oh, that's not good. That's bad! Pardon squeakiness. Um, bad time to say this, but I hope everyone's doing wonderful today. <laughs> I'm doing good. Are you gonna die or not, you old bitch? Ew. That's disgusting. Again, if you don't like my sense of humor while I play this, it's perfectly fine if you do not watch this Let's Play. This is just how I am. Um, you can also complain to me in the comments if you'd like, but it's not gonna change how I play. I'm not heartless or anything, I just laugh sometimes at things and games. Not in real life, of course. Hell no, I wouldn't do that. If someone got hit by a car, I wouldn't laugh at it. <laughs> I will in game, though. This is gross. That's either a body bag, a latex turd, <laughs> or a worm. Examine. It's a hospital body booty bag. Is it me? Will I die? Ah! Body bag. Open. Pardon me. Oh, the stains on the left side of this look a little like a cockroach. Okay, that's me again, and uh, pardon me. Ah, no, I was gonna burp, but she scared me. I went back to my body. That's cool. <coughs> oh, wow. I'm not the only one he's killed. You treacherous, dirty bastard. I opened my heart to you, and you stabbed me to death in cold blood. You'll pay for this. <laughs> I, I know. You Gosh, will. what a douche. But this means the old woman was right. I can't die. I'm immortal. 
I think it's time to find out how very mortal you are, Doctor. Suicide note. Read. My name is Susan Ashworth. I live alone in this old two-bedroom flat. I rarely go outside. I was still reading. And that's all there was. This is a suicide note I wrote. Why would he put it up on the wall? Because he gets off on death! He brings his victims down here in the hospital in hospital body bags. Uh where's my friend at? Where's Liz? Oh she um I think Liz isn't here anymore. Another unlucky victim of the killer. This one looks like she's been dead for a long time. No wonder he smells funny. Old rusty door. He has no reason to... It wasn't even locked. You'd think he'd lock it if he's in the basement of a hospital. Someone might go down there. Oh, shoot! I'm sorry. I don't... Go ahead and go back and pause it. I do not know what that said. I didn't know there was going to be more, and I skipped right past it. I am so sorry. I might need this chair. Uh. Lucky I didn't sit in it. Still, this wooden leg might uh, be for some use. Just needs a bit of an edge to it. All right, and I'm gonna save. <laughs> Sorry, the screaming. The screaming made a weird noise. I don't know if you heard it or not. Um, blah blah blah. Yeah, my my save games are have awesome names. Saw blade. Don't mind if. Oh shoot. Turn back on light. Um. Maybe I should turn on the tap first. Uh, don't tell me what to do, game. Ah, oh, awesome. It's covered in lather now. It might be useful for something, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna go over here and get this saw blade now. Can I make a weapon with this? Sharp bar I found stuck to the dead body of the girl. I could use it as a weapon if only I could make it longer. I need to find a way to extend it. Well, you can attach these two things together. I guess I can't yet. Okay, what's going on? I can't back out. Did I break the game? It is a very good thing that I saved beforehand uh, because it I did mess up my game and then I messed it up a second time and so I saved right after covering the soap and lather. So I upset the game for some reason and now I'm leaving. <clears throat> Ew. Lady with an... Ermit? Ermit? Examine doll. I guess he couldn't get a hold of an... Ermine. So he used this creepy baby doll instead. Take doll's head. You could probably find some use for this. Oh, yeah, it's actually a body. I didn't notice that. Ew, I should have examined the body. That's disgusting. It seems this place seems to be uh, seemed to be closed down for a while. One day, when they eventually demolish it, all, uh, all the evidence will get buried, bur buried, not burned, deep under piles of rubble. Liz. Oh, it's Liz. But it's impossible. I spoke to her last night. I tried to stop her from jumping. And yet here she is, stuck to a metal rod, looking like she's been dead for a lot longer than that. Liz. Was she really there already? Just dead? And I'm sorry I skipped forward. Pockets are empty. I want to take her down.
Can I take her down? I hope at least you will find some peace in death. Take her down! Oh. Man, I'm gonna save again. Like my save names. <laughs> I I just I just don't trust this. It's still it's still making the glowy even though I took the key. Let me go this way to see if there's anything I can do this way. Is he currently torturing a woman? Ah! Oh, wow. Oh god. I've seen something like this before. Uh, the living paintings, except for this here is a dead body suspended on wires uh, tied to a chair. She's backing away slowly. She's like, uh... You're gonna pay for this, you bastard. Yes, he will. It seems uh, he used a lot of makeup to turn her into the spitting image of Mona Lisa. A fake skeleton. It probably had been used for teaching before it ended up here. I'm gonna take the bolt. I'm gonna make a weapon. A great weapon. Easel. Doctor probably considers himself quite an artist. Workbench. I probably could make a weapon here. Oh, great. It's the uh, Dead Rising. The bolt needs to be secured in place now, otherwise it will just fall apart. Can't do anything with wet soap. Can I put the doll's head there? Uh, it's not quite sure what to do with this. Saw blade. Ah, I should secure the top of the weapon now. The saw stays in place when I use it. Doll's head? Okay. Yeah. That's it. I can take it now. What do I do with the other weapon, though? It's uh, really lathery now. It might be used for something, I guess. Okay. Um. Let me do that again. The key is attached to an elastic band. There's something written on it. It says, dreams are just dreams. Pinch me. I can't wake up. Didn't Liz uh, say something similar to that when I met her? Uh, I should get closer to the doctor first. I'm ready for you now, doctor. Bring it on. Let's see what's uh, in your head. How do I leave the workbench? Ah, return to room. I need to find more stuff. Because I have another weapon I can make. Venus. Another poor victim of the mad doctor. There's something shiny in one of her fingers. Oh. A metal nut is stuck on her finger like a ring. I could pull it off the finger if it wasn't so swollen and stiff. Cut the finger off. Well, that's when you use the wet soap. Girl with the pearl earring. I knew that one. Her uh, limp body is uh, positioned in the exact same way as the painting. It seems the killer used wire to keep her head tilted to the side. I don't know where I can go. Sorry about that, I need to save again. <laughs> Let's open it quietly. Is there anything inside? Let's take that wrench. Okay. We're gonna go back and do that other...
Oh, he crazy. I'm gonna finish this. See if I have everything I need. Now I just need to tighten the tool. There. The weapon's complete. I suppose it's time to go and see the doctor. So now I have two weapons. I have a mace and a spear. Let's go and get the doctor. What a motherfucker, right? Pardon me. I don't know which way the doctor is, though. Seems like it's getting louder. I don't need eyes to enjoy your fear. Scream louder, little bitch. Scream your lungs out. Louder, I said. What a dick. Yes. Multiple screens. This is by far my favorite of songs. Would you like me to dance for you? Unlike you. I know all art needs to be appreciated. Your scream is like a poem without words. He's wearing a mask and a blindfold. He's convinced I'm dead and no one knows about this place. Well, it looks like you made a big mistake, you arrogant asshole! Your body. An instrument. I never thought you had it in you. And yet you make every fiber in my body tremble with excitement. Your body will forever be admired by those like me who understand the only pure and true form of art. I'm gonna stab him. <laughs> I'm planning on how I'm gonna kill him. I can't do anything yet, he's still dancing. I'm gonna javelin him. Hopefully it doesn't hit her too. You'll feel a sharp scratch. What's up, Doc? Do you believe in karma? See you in hell. You'll feel a sharp scratch. Please don't fall on her. Okay. Yay! Oh, can I untie her with the key? I'm gonna look at his body first. You finally got what he deserved. I hope he rots in hell. Hey. There you go. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Now you I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> you would have killed me. Like the others. The animal. You, you gave him what he deserved. Who are you? Uh they call me the cat lady. <laughs> They call me the cat lady. Now get out of here. Call the police. I wonder if I would have got an achievement I'm using the other home. weapon. I should load that save and figure that out. Chapter 3! River! Standing by the river, I wonder, do I need a stone? No, my heart is heavy enough. It will drag me down for sure. Can I walk around? Can I do anything? Mm -hmm. Sun setting. At least it looks like it's getting darker. Oh, is that my apartment? And they think I'm dead, so... First of all, I should wash off all the horrible memories of this night. I didn't read the first part, it went too fast. Oh, sh- <clears throat> That was an accident. Sometimes it just goes really fast. 
Okay, yeah, I can do this one step at a time. I'm very sorry. This has been Jez DeMail, and I will see you again for another episode of The Cat Lady. I'm going to go take a shower in game. Goodbye.